If you're going through a breakup or having a hard time with people in your life, just watch us, I'm telling you. Um, I got this question on my Instagram and someone said, listen and live, I'm going through a really toxic breakup. What should I do? Like, how do I stay happy? And as someone who's really positive, like I, I understand how it seems like everything in my life is so positive, but I had to make hard cuts, like hard cuts in my life. I almost think of my life as like a soccer team tryout and you have tryouts and there are right spots for right people. And sometimes you can't give undeserving people or people who don't earn their spots a spot on the varsity squad. What's going to happen? Your team's going to lose because they're not going to play their position right. And that's your fault for bringing them onto the soccer team because you know that they weren't qualified. Same thing for relationships. And I know this sounds like really aggressive, um, but it's true. You can't go giving people varsity spots in your life if they haven't made the tryout, if there are people who are better than them, you know? And if you are going to break up with someone or if you just feel like they're not right, whether it's a boy or a friend or a girl or someone, something else, you know, you can't have one foot in the door and one foot out because that prevents the door from being open to someone else. And I really do think that if a chapter has to come to a close, it has to fully come to a close. Like block them, delete the pictures, move on, move on because you're shutting the door. And when you shut a door, another door opens. And you know, we, we don't know what life has to offer, but it has a way of patting you on the back when you make a hard cut as if people are trying out for your team because you are making your own team. You're making your own soccer team and it's, it's all up to you who you choose to let on. And, you know, one person can mess up the whole team and the whole game. So you got to be really careful. And I think if you're an athlete, thinking of relationships as building your own team is really fun and exciting. And listen, everyone has friendships that end. Everyone has relationships that end. But we're so grateful. And how lucky are we that we get to take lessons from that, you know? And that's what helps us move on and move forward and find people who really do deserve a spot and earn it. So I don't know if anyone had to hear this tonight, if it was just a rant and it's not going to be seen by anyone, but I love you. If you need anything, you could always DM me on Insta. Um, I'm here to help and be careful of who you let on your soccer team. I know it's going to win the championship regardless, however long it takes for you, but close that door and really great people walk in. You never know what to expect. There's no timeline on friendships, good friendships and good relationships. Shut that door and life will have a way of surprising you. Love you.